Before we dive into the heart of the matter, let's first understand the nature of twin flames. Imagine two souls, once whole, now separated into two bodies, destined to navigate the complexities of life, each on their own path. This profound connection is not just a meeting of souls, it's a convergence of destinies, a cosmic dance that transcends time and space. The bond between twin flames is a powerful force, both a blessing and a challenge, requiring deep personal growth, relentless introspection, and an unyielding commitment to self-discovery. The twin flame journey is a journey of the soul, one that is as beautiful as it is complex, as rewarding as it is demanding. One of the most challenging stages in this journey is when the runner, the twin, who, overwhelmed by the intensity of the connection, chooses to flee, decides never to return. This decision is like a sudden storm, bringing with it waves of confusion, frustration, and deep heartache. But within the storm lies a profound opportunity for transformation. In this exploration, we will uncover what happens when the twin flame runner makes this pivotal choice and how it irrevocably alters the paths of both souls involved. When your twin flame decides never to return, it's as if the world shifts beneath your feet, leaving you standing on the edge of an unfathomable abyss. This profound emptiness can feel overwhelming at first. It's as though a part of your soul has been ripped away, leaving behind a cavernous space where your twin once resided. The pain of their absence echoes within this void, reverberating through your entire being. But as daunting as it may seem, this void is not just a place of loss. It is also a space of limitless potential. It is in this emptiness that the seeds of your true self can take root and grow. The void becomes a sacred ground where you can begin to cultivate a deeper relationship with yourself. One that is free from the distractions and dependencies that may have existed in your connection with your twin flame. In the beginning, the void may feel like a dark, lonely expanse. But as you learn to sit with it, to be present with it, you start to see it differently. The darkness begins to reveal its own kind of light, a light that comes from within you. This void is a mirror, reflecting back to you the aspects of yourself that you may have ignored or suppressed. It invites you to explore the depths of your own soul, to discover the parts of yourself that have been hidden or neglected. As you embrace the void, you begin to understand that this space is not a prison, but a place of profound freedom. It is an opportunity to let go of old identities, old patterns, and old beliefs that no longer serve you. It is a blank canvas upon which you can paint a new picture of who you are and who you are becoming. The void becomes a sanctuary a place where you can find peace in the silence, strength in the solitude, and clarity in the stillness. In this sacred space, you start to realize that the absence of your twin flame is not just a loss, but also a gift. It is an invitation to step into your own power, to become whole within yourself. The void, it is a space where you can reclaim your autonomy, rediscover your inner light, and reconnect with the essence of who you truly are. In embracing the void, you learn that it is not something to fear, but something to honor. It is a powerful teacher, 
guiding you towards a deeper understanding of yourself and your place in the universe. And as you navigate this empty space, you begin to fill it not with the presence of another, but with the presence of your own soul. This is the first step in a journey of profound self-discovery and spiritual awakening where the void transforms from a place of loss into a wellspring of infinite possibilities. The departure of your twin flame plunges you into a world of pain that is both raw and relentless. It feels as if your heart has been shattered into a million pieces, each fragment a sharp reminder of the deep connection that once was. The intensity of this pain can be overwhelming, leaving you questioning everything, your worth, your path, even your very existence. In the beginning, the pain may feel all-consuming, as if there is no escape from the relentless waves of sorrow, anger, and confusion. But as you allow yourself to fully experience these emotions, something begins to shift. The pain, which once felt like an endless void of suffering, starts to take on a new form. It becomes a powerful force for change, a catalyst that propels you forward on your journey of self-discovery. This is the alchemy of pain, the process by which your suffering is transformed into wisdom, strength, and deep inner knowledge. As you move through the pain, you begin to see it not as an enemy, but as a teacher. It reveals the parts of yourself that are still in need of healing the wounds that have yet to be acknowledged and tended to. It shows you the patterns and beliefs that have been holding you back, the ones that no longer serve your highest good. As the alchemy of pain continues, you begin to notice subtle changes within yourself. Your heart, once broken, begins to mend, but in a new, stronger form. The wisdom you gain from this experience is not just intellectual, it's deeply embodied. You learn to trust in your own resilience, to have faith in your ability to navigate even the darkest of times. This newfound strength is not just physical or emotional, it's spiritual. It's a strength that comes from knowing that you have faced the fire and emerged not only unscathed, but transformed the alchemy of pain teaches you that suffering is not something to be feared or avoided. It's an essential part of the human experience, a necessary step on the path to enlightenment. Through your pain, you gain the gold of self-awareness, the precious metal of inner peace, and the treasure of unconditional love, first and foremost for yourself. This transformation, though born from heartache, is one of the most powerful gifts the twin flame journey has to offer. It's through this process that you become more than you were before, evolving into a being of greater depth, compassion, and spiritual wisdom. As you continue on your journey, after the twin flame runner decides never to return, something profound begins to unfold within you. The concept of connection itself starts to transform. The intense, almost desperate need to reunite with your twin flame, which once dominated your thoughts and emotions, begins to soften and shift. This is the third sign of your evolving journey, the redefinition of connection, where your understanding of what it means to be connected to someone, including your twin flame, undergoes a radical change. Initially, the longing for your twin flame 
may have felt like an insatiable hunger, a void that only their presence could fill. This yearning was not just emotional, it was spiritual, as though your soul was calling out for its other half. But as time passes, and you begin to engage more deeply with yourself, this longing transforms. You start to realize that the connection you sought so fervently outside of yourself actually resides within you. This awakening marks a significant shift in your consciousness. Redefining connection means moving away from the external pursuit of union with another and turning inward to discover the profound connection that already exists within your own soul. This is not to say that the bond with your twin flame ceases to exist. It remains, but it no longer holds the same power over you. Instead of defining your happiness or sense of completeness by your relationship with your twin, you begin to find those qualities within yourself. As you deepen this internal connection, you start to experience a sense of wholeness that is not dependent on anyone else. You become more attuned to your own needs, more aware of your boundaries, and more in love with who you are at your core. This self-connection brings a newfound sense of peace, one that is not easily shaken by external circumstances. You begin to understand that true connection is not about clinging to someone else, but about being fully present and authentic with yourself. Ultimately, redefining connection is about reclaiming your power. It's about realizing that the most important relationship you will ever have is the one with yourself. As you honor and nurture this connection, you begin to radiate a sense of inner peace and confidence that naturally attracts others who are also on a similar path of self-discovery and growth. You come to understand that while the twin flame journey is deeply significant, it is not the end all be all of your existence. The true gift of this journey is the rediscovery of your own divine essence and the realization that you are already whole, complete and connected first and foremost to yourself. The fourth sign, awakening to higher consciousness, is one of the most transformative and profound experiences that can emerge from the pain of a twin flame separation. When the twin flame runner decides never to return, it often serves as a catalyst for an intense spiritual awakening in the other twin. This awakening is not just a gradual realization, it is often a sudden powerful shift that dramatically alters your perception of reality and your understanding of yourself. At first, the pain and confusion of separation may cloud your mind, leaving you feeling lost and disoriented. But as you navigate through these emotions, a deeper layer of awareness begins to emerge. It's as if the very act of losing your twin flame breaks open the barriers within your consciousness, allowing a flood of new insights and understandings to pour in. This is the beginning of your awakening to higher consciousness. In this heightened state of awareness, you start to perceive the world and your place within it in a completely new light. What once seemed so solid and real, your beliefs, your identity, your understanding of love and connection begins to dissolve. You realize that much of what you once thought was reality was actually an illusion, a construct of the mind shaped by societal conditioning, ego, and fear. This awakening is like waking up from a dream, only to discover that the world you've been living in was just a shadow 
of the true reality. This awakening often brings with it sudden bursts of clarity and insight. You might have moments of profound understanding where complex concepts that once eluded you now seem crystal clear. It's as though you've been given access to a higher realm of knowledge, one that transcends the limitations of the physical world. You may begin to see the interconnectedness of all things, recognizing that you are a part of a vast, intricate web of life, and that every thought, action, and emotion you experience has a ripple effect on the universe. This awakening also brings with it a deep sense of peace and acceptance. You start to understand that everything you've experienced, the joy, the pain, the separation, has been a necessary part of your soul's evolution. You realize that the twin flame journey is not just about romantic love or reunion with another person, but about your own spiritual growth and the expansion of your consciousness. It's about remembering who you truly are, a divine being of light connected to all of creation. The fifth sign, the path of purpose, emerges like a guiding star after the emotional storm of twin flame separation has begun to settle. When your twin flame runner decides never to return, it can feel as if the ground beneath you has been swept away. However, as you navigate through the initial waves of grief, confusion, and longing, a new sense of clarity often begins to emerge. This clarity reveals a path a clear, purposeful direction that was previously obscured by the intensity of your connection and the emotions it stirred. The twin flame journey is deeply transformative, and one of its most profound gifts is the way it aligns you with your soul's true purpose. The separation from your twin flame, while painful, serves as a powerful catalyst that forces you to look inward and ask the deeper questions. What is my true purpose? Why am I here? What am I meant to do in this life? These questions begin to surface as you move beyond the initial pain, creating a fertile ground for self-discovery. As the dust settles from the emotional upheaval, you may find that your life's mission, your reason for being, starts to reveal itself with striking clarity. This purpose might not be something entirely new. It could be a calling or a passion that has been with you all along, but was overshadowed by the intense focus on your twin flame relationship. The separation acts as a clearing process removing the distractions and allowing your true path to come into view. This path of purpose often brings with it a deep sense of fulfillment and satisfaction, unlike anything you've experienced before. It's as if the pieces of your life are finally falling into place and you are exactly where you are meant to be. You may find that you are no longer seeking external validation or approval because you are now aligned with something much greater, the divine plan for your life. This sense of alignment brings a profound inner peace, even in the face of challenges, because you know that you are walking your true path. In the end, the twin flame runner's decision to stay away serves as a powerful catalyst that leads you to your true purpose. It's as if their departure has cleared the way for you to fully step into your role in the world. This purpose is not something imposed upon you. It's something that emerges naturally as you align more deeply with your soul's desires. 
Walking this path brings a sense of fulfillment and joy that transcends the pain of separation, allowing you to live a life that is meaningful, purposeful, and aligned with your highest self. The sixth sign, aligning with divine will, represents the pinnacle of the spiritual transformation that unfolds when your twin flame runner decides to leave you. This stage is about surrendering your personal desires and embracing a higher purpose, one that is guided not by your ego, but by the deeper currents of divine wisdom and universal love. It is in this profound alignment with the universe's will that you find true peace and fulfillment. Aligning with divine will requires a deep surrender, a letting go of the need to control outcomes or cling to specific desires. This surrender is not about giving up. It's about trusting that the universe has a plan for you that is far greater than anything you could have envisioned for yourself. It's about recognizing that your soul's journey is part of a much larger cosmic dance, one that is orchestrated by forces beyond your comprehension. As you begin to align with divine will, you might notice a profound shift in your perspective. What once seemed like losses or setbacks now appear as necessary steps in your spiritual evolution. The pain and challenges you faced are reinterpreted as the universe's way of guiding you towards your true purpose. You start to see the divine intelligence at work in every experience, every encounter, every moment of your life. This awareness brings with it a deep sense of peace as you realize that you're exactly where you are meant to be, doing exactly what you are meant to do. In this state of alignment, your actions become expressions of the divine will. You no longer act out of personal desire or ego, but out of a sense of service to something greater. This might manifest as a calling to help others, to share your wisdom, to create, to heal, or to inspire. Whatever form it takes, your work becomes a channel for the divine, an extension of the universe's love and wisdom into the world. Aligning with divine will also means accepting that not everything will go according to your personal plans or desires. There will be times when you face challenges, disappointments, or losses, but these too are part of the divine plan. In this state of alignment, you learn to trust that everything happens for a reason, even if that reason is not immediately clear. You develop a deep faith in the process of life, knowing that the universe is always working for your highest good, even when it doesn't seem that way. Ultimately, aligning with divine will is about becoming a co-creator with the universe. It's about recognizing that you are a vital part of the whole, that your actions have meaning and impact, and that you are here to fulfill a unique role in the world. This alignment brings a deep sense of purpose, fulfillment, and peace. As you live in harmony with the divine flow of life. In the end, the twin flame runner's decision to stay away leads to the most important return of all your return to your true self. This journey, though born from pain, blossoms into a beautiful odyssey of self discovery and spiritual awakening. Through the trials of separation, you find the strength to stand in your own power, the courage to face your deepest fears, and the wisdom 
to embrace your true purpose. The journey of the twin flame is not just about union with another, but about the union within, the merging of your human self with your divine essence. This is the ultimate return, the most profound reunion, the one that leads you back to the core of who you truly are.